Hi, my babes. So, I uh, finished my left hand. It's okay. There's like little imperfections that I would, um, if I had the time, I would go back and fix. But for me not having really done like a full, like actual, like, you know, full hand. I mean, I did, you know, practice obviously in school and stuff like that, but like, it wasn't really um, like to build up the apex. It was more for like shaping and stuff like that. So yeah, these are cute. Um, so now I am going in with the, um, I mean, I haven't done my nails. I haven't done my left hand in a long time. So you guys are gonna have to like really, it's gonna take a little minute. This is really bothering me that it's not staying flat. I don't know why, because obviously it's like paper towel, so it's not going to fully stay flat. But it's like floating up, and it's like annoying me. Okay. Um. Yeah, so obviously the first thing... Oh, and the nail tips that I'm using, which is going to make them even harder, are triangle. So they're super weird. I'm super excited to try them, though. So, yeah. I'm oh hold on whoo okay I did not put protein bond on these phalanges so that's a no-no oh I don't know maybe I shouldn't put protein bond on <laughs> especially if they don't come out well uh, like I'm kind of a little scared with these tips um because I don't want them to look like really bad you know I'm going to have to, I know I'm going to have to like shave the hell out of these. All right. I'm just going to let that dry for a second. And, uh, yeah. So how is everyone doing? I recorded, uh, a few videos, so I will be releasing them in the same order that I recorded them, obviously. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm taking my medication in the background. I have like certain times of the day that I have to take medication. I have them like set up like right next to me because I knew I was going to be over here for a while and I knew I was going to forget. So I did it. All right. So let's put this second coat of protein bond on and let's get it. Yeah, I think these nails are cute that I did, but um if i were to redo them i would make a little bit of some changes um nothing too serious i guess i'm just like super critical of myself i don't think i'm ever good enough like none of my sets are like i'll like a set but like i always pick out every little imperfection in them so yeah i don't know they're okay this one is my favorite, but although, like, you know, like, there's a little bit right there that I should have did, like, a deeper pink, and I don't know. It's just, like, I'm I'm never good enough. So, yeah. But, um, hopefully, let's try to, and this time, I'm going to try to do less clear. Um, I want to try to just like do a little thin layer of clear on my, sorry, I'm like focusing here, just like on my nail bed and not so much. And not so much on the tip until, like, I want glitter or something. You know, it's, like, kind of a waste to just put clear on the on the tip part. So I'm trying to just, you know, cover my nail bed just so that it's protected from, like, glitter or whatever I want to do. Now, I'm not really sure what I want to do, so maybe I will... I don't know. What do I want to do here? 
Hmm. Do I have a... What is this? I could do nude. This is the prettiest pink, white, and yeah, maybe I'll do like a, a nude. I am using Valentino mixed with Glam and Glitz. The, um, the clear is Valentino. The monomer is obviously Valentino. And I'm always afraid to get like liquid on this wooden brush. That's the only thing that I have a gripe about is that I do like the, um, the weight of the brush, but I just always think I'm going to ruin like the paint and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to do, 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 I don't know. Maybe I'll just put red and black. Let's start with some red and black. You know? Now, I'm not, I mean, I'm pretty good, like, because I have to go super slow. So... Yeah, I have to like really focus though. So I might talk less. I might have to talk less on um, this side, this hand. And I have to make sure that when I'm going down the sides I keep that, um, like that point, because these are supposed to be pointed, you know? All right, so I want to, I don't want any spaces, you know, like I want this fully covered with this glitter. So I want to go in and okay. All right, so I need to go. do a little more just like black down here and not so much like the red Maybe I didn't mix these up enough because it seems like, like, you know, acrylics over there and it's kind of like, so I want to make sure it's mixed. Ooh, look how creepy that looks. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, I kind of wanted it pretty in pink on my one hand, but then I wanted, you know, it dark and like dreary-ish. And then let's go up and have the black almost go into the red so that it's darker. Keep that. I saw um, Nail Career Education do the sculpted, and I was so impressed. Like, honestly, I was so impressed that she sculpted these. That is like one of, you know, one thing that I hope that I could do. 
I want to do eventually. Oh, I think I just ruined this. No, 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 no. Let's get that off. Okay, so we're not using this acrylic. Let's close this one up. This has like too much like pretty rainbow color, like iridescent shimmer to it. I don't like it. So now I'm going to have to put a little more like red over this. I'm going to do like the... Yeah, I didn't like that it was... I wanted like more black, you know, and... Get off, get off. I hate the fact that, like, my left hand is, like, non-existent with, like, strength. I swear, it's, like, nothing. Okay, so it, like, it stayed the, the triangle. It stayed, you know. So, I do like that. All right, let's clear cap this sucker. And call it a day. Well, you know, this nail, anyway. Come on, get off. I definitely, um, for Valentino, it like, it sets like at a perfect speed for me normally. Like now, for my left hand, obviously, you know, it's probably. I gotta go a little bit faster so that it doesn't like set too fast for me. Um, but normally, like it sets at the perfect um, speed. Yeah, it's like super perfect. It's not, you know, like too fast, but it's definitely not like you know super slow either. So. I, um, I'm really liking Valentino. Ooh, I don't want to flood. Now, if you ever get these type of nail tips, you know, it's going to be a little bit harder to keep that, tr that triangle perfectly. And then, like, for it to flow into this way properly also, you know, like, you, you need it to flow um, yeah, so I need to make sure I have enough, um, acrylic on each side of these little triangles here. So let's put some on this side. And then let's put some on this side. So what have you guys done today? Like I said in my other videos, I just like ran errands and stuff like that. I did get to have Starbucks today and I made a roast um, late last night. So that's what I ate for dinner. Okay. Um, other than that, I've just done videos all day. I did watch some just YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, just was watching you know little youtube drama crap videos nothing important that's for sure okay so i don't want to 
Um, I'm doing good in class. I have to make up like one test or... Yeah, it's one test, but it's like two chapters together or something like that. Um, Like I said in my previous videos, it's like... It's not bad, the class. I really like my teacher. Like, you know, like I said... um. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I like my teachers. I like all the people. Oh, what am I doing? I did not put clear down. Oh, well. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I like the school and everything but i'm not learning anything there and that's like i'm glad that i'm not the only one that sees this as a problem because i'm glad that nail career education brought this up it's like she was reading my mind or something but she even said that like she thinks that it like the government shouldn't oop my nails flooding the government shouldn't um be regulating like our industry because you know like okay yeah you you do need to learn some sanitation and stuff like that but does it really cost forty two hundred dollars to learn some sanitation not really no there's no reason why it takes six and a half months to learn about sanitation and stuff it's like you know, I like my teacher and all that, but, like, she doesn't even do live nails in class. Like, she doesn't even do nails in our class. She hasn't done one set in my class. And, like, I like her and she's really nice. See, that one hair is driving me absolutely bonkers. And I want to cut it so bad, but I don't want to ruin the brush. I don't want that to like do anything to the brush it keeps popping out though if it keeps popping out i'm just gonna have to cut it but um anyway so like i was saying and it's like nothing against her because i don't know like what they tell her that she's supposed to do or not but like there's girls in my class that have never done nails before so it would be nice uh, that was not good so it would be nice if you know they were getting taught in person you know seeing someone actually doing a set of nails you can't just you know like you're not gonna learn that reading a book that's just not how that's that's not gonna work that way You know, and I just feel bad because, you know, I've obviously had the time um, to be on YouTube the last couple years because of my uh, circumstance and learn the last couple years. So I'm ahead of um, everyone in my class and it's not because I'm smarter. It's not because I caught on quicker. No, it's because I've had the time. to uh, watch YouTube videos the last um, almost three years. And like, no, yeah, did I do it the whole three years? Obviously not. I mean, there was times where I didn't even do nails for a couple months at a time throughout that three years, but the knowledge was still there. I started growing my products. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to make sure that triangle stays there but um you know and I just feel bad because it's just not fair because I really feel like these students should be getting taught more than what they're being taught I guess oh I kind of I'm gonna have to shape that up a little bit right there that is like way too down Maybe I was able to push it up with my finger. 
I don't want that flooding in and making my uh, fingernail wider than what it already is, you know. Okay. But, um, yeah, so it's like, I feel bad that, that you know, like, I mean, obviously I want to learn more too. And, you know, obvious, uh, I don't want to keep saying obviously, but, you know, it's apparent that I'm not going to learn anything other than sanitation and the basics. And I know I read up on it and I know that I kind of knew that already, but I was just hoping that I found a school that actually taught. I was hoping that I, you know, I got lucky somehow and like, you know, I don't know. I guess I'm just not that lucky. You know? I guess I'm not that lucky. I just wanted to do a nude, but like kind of just like black speckles on it, you know? Just a little something, something. Something plain, but like there's like a hair on there. Something plain, but not too plain. And I'm probably going to do another nude nail, but that one's probably going to actually just be like all black or something. Like I'm actually going to just paint that nail all black, maybe. But yeah, like I need to work on, you know, more of my ratios and like, you know, my, um powder to um my liquid to powder ratio like there's things I need to work on too I'm still a student like you know I didn't take this serious for two and a half years it's just that like I you know watch great youtubers I watch Emily Susanna who just started doing her own nails you know she was more into beauty than anything but she decided that she wasn't gonna go to a salon anymore because she didn't want to get greenies anymore and you know uh obviously nail career education is like one of my idols i would think emily Susanna is like number one for me because she's like even though she's younger than me she's like obviously like more in my age group so um you know like i look up to her but like nail career education like i strive to you know be in the industry for that long and be and stay relevant and you know have the knowledge that she does um so she's like you know i would love to be a youtuber like like a combination of both of them you know and then Femi Beauty is just amazing like she's like just crazy with her nails she's like awesome um, so I always have to bring her up, you know, I'm not feeling this thumb that I did. What y'all thinking? That, that nail might be, end up being black too, for real. Cause I'm not feeling it. These nails are actually a lot easier to stay maintain that like triangle then like i really thought like it's kind of cool like i really really like that these are cool like that they are a little short i wish they were longer but you know at least they're not like the other ones where um you know they're basically useless these ones i could actually use I just want to make sure. I just don't know how to build these. Kind of don't know like how high I should build them up though. You know? I feel like I have stuff in my brush. I don't know why I have the sniffles. I swear I'm not sick. Y'all yeah, won't catch the C word watching my videos, I promise. 
I guess I'm not really like being real particular either. Um, because I'm just going to go, you know, with the file and file it all up. So I'm not like being like super like, oh my God, I need, you know, um, I'm not doing like super crazy. Oop. But it's so cool how it like stays the shape. I mean, look how dope that looks. That nude is dope. I really like it. Oh, I got to clear cap that. Um, I really actually like it a lot. I have to clear cap that. See, I need to work on my ratios because for some reason, um, it doesn't come off my brush that easily sometimes, you know? Did I clear cap this? No, right? No, it doesn't look like I clear capped it anyway. Oh, I got a little too fast and messy. See, this is what happens when I get too fast and I tried to do the whole nail and I messed up. I see, I should have just, I should have just went slow. But yeah, what other YouTubers do y'all watch? I actually watch like all, I watch like acne YouTubers where they um just pop pimples. I watch um, music stars and like uh, <laughs> the most, all right. So the one, one YouTuber that I watch that is probably the most ratchet though is um, Trisha Paytas. Um, does anybody else watch her? Okay, so I was just watching the video on her crying and stuff because... I remember when she made the video about how, like, Jeffree Star and all them, like, basically bullied her. And, like, I could believe it because he just seems like that. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I like him or whatnot. And, like, you know, he... I remember him from MySpace days. Um, but at the same time, you know, there's no reason to be like that. To, like, be all stuck up like that. I don't like people that act like that. That's not cool. There's no reason to um, throw your money around and just be like, blah, blah, blah. You know, you have to, you're going to get treated whatever way I say because you came um, to see Mariah Carey at my expense on my plane. Like, no, you're going to respect me regardless. I'll take my own plane home. Like, don't, don't play with me. Like, I wish somebody would be disrespectful like that to me. The only person that's allowed to be disrespectful to me is me. Because trust me, if something is real about myself that I, um that's bad, trust me, I've said it to myself. But at the same time, I'm not going to allow someone to be disrespectful to me. Like, just not going to. All right, so my nude finger is my favorite so far because it's maintained the, like, triangle shape um, the most... Now, this one hasn't. I'm going to have to, like, shave the heck out of these sides so that they look more pitched. And I really feel like I need to actually put a little more and shape it uh, pitched a little more. Yeah, I feel like I need to pitch this a little more. Put it on both sides. No, it didn't work that well. I did it way too liquidy. I think it's because this was my first finger that I had to like, you know, kind of get used to it. So it doesn't... Oh, I have a whole patch that I... I really feel like I'm having problems with like the liquid and the powder because of this 
this cup. I couldn't see it because of the glitter, but there was like a whole patch that's missing right here that needs to be filled in. Sorry. All right, cool. It's filled in at least. Almost there. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So, like, she was crying and, like, I mean, her crying is annoying a little bit. But no one deserves to be bullied like that on live knowing dang well she has low self-esteem already. Like, that doesn't make you look cool because you're bullying someone that has low self-esteem already. And that knows that she's a bigger girl and knows that she has like issues with her face. She obviously looks in the mirror every day. She knows she has acne. There's no reason to say that to, to that lady. Like, it's just pathetic. Pathetic. I don't like that at all. It's so hard to like get a nice ball this way without you know this being turned sideways see it doesn't come off that easily i want it to just come off like in a nice and not stick to the brush But, um, yeah, I just think, and it's some hairdresser. I never even heard of him, to be honest. Um, but the way he was talking, you would think he was like some gangbanger or something. I swear you would think he was some gangbanger. Um, he rolls in like Jeffree Star circles. So apparently he does like some probably like B-lister celebrity type people's hair and wigs and whatnot. But they need to cancel his ass. That's what they need to do. They need to show the fact that he can't be a misogynist, um, you know, woman hater. Like, I don't know who the hell he thinks he is, but mm -mm, that's not cool to what he was saying about her. Like, oh, get over it. Like, you were eating and all that. Like, basically saying, like, just because she came and... Like, Trisha doesn't even seem like the type that wouldn't pay. But, like, you know, they were, like, I guess uh, Jeffree Star paid or whatever. But the thing is, is that she seems like the type that would pay. Like, if you say, like, oh, this is how much it costs for the plane. This is how much, like, we divvied it up between 10 people. And this is your part. It seems like she would pay. Because, I mean... She she has money on the low. Like, she has a lot of money. She makes her money, um, right? And the way he was making it seem was that, like, she should be just, like, so grateful that she came that they could be able to just disrespect her and talk to her any way they want to just because she came and went for free. That's basically the way he was making it seem in the video. That she should feel lucky enough that he even asked her to come. Which is like so crazy to me that people actually think that way. Like just because Jeffrey probably um, treats you whatever way and you take it because you don't have to pay. That's how fake you are. You probably cool with it. You know what I mean? You're probably cool with the fact that he pays for you to go places so he could treat you whatever way. And that's the problem, it seems, that Jeffree Star has is that he's on his high horse and that he feels like he could disrespect anyone because he pays for people and I think that's kind of like why he pays for people so that he could get away with just disrespecting people because oh well I'm paying for them and they have to you know they basically have to listen to whatever I want they're gonna kiss my ass and they're gonna do what I say sorry I keep putting my you know, like, they're going to do whatever I say 
because I'm paying. So it's like, I feel like he does that shit on purpose. Get that. I need that little piece off. You know, like, I feel like, I think that's the reason why he pays for real. So that he has free range to just throw his little fits. Free range to be disrespectful, to be a mean girl, to be like catty, you know, because, oh, well, he's paying. So if you want to do stuff for free, then you better, ooh, I messed this one up bad on this side. I'm going to need to file the hell out of that. Oh my God, this looks terrible. Okay, trust the process, trust the process, okay? Trust the process. God, that, that looks terrible. It's crazy, though, because i seen um, oh, another YouTuber that I watch that, like, sometimes she gets on my nerves to the point where I can't watch her. But when she does her nail videos, um, I will watch her because I would love to, like, get to her speed. But her, she's a, a Vietnamese girl and, uh, her name is called Lovely Mimi. I think, yeah, that's her, I think that's her YouTube. But anyway, she's super ratchety. Um, I found her on Instagram when she was like a nobody and then she was on like Love and Hip Hop and like other channels also. Or she was on, um, that's probably my fiance. Hold on. I'll still do my nails. Hello? Uh, baby. Hey, baby. How are you doing? Nothing. Doing my nails and recording a video. That's why you probably called my other phone and it's uh, going to voicemail probably, right? Yeah. 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 I'll let you be no, you could talk to me. I'm just recording a video. Um, well, I did the one side already, like, um, like a pretty pink and glitter because, you know, like Valentine's Day. And then the other hand is going to be like, um, like dark black and red and, you know, like more, um, I guess like, you know, some people love Valentine's Day and then others, you know, it's like more of like, it's not a good day cause they're single or like they hate the holiday. It's bad energy. So I wanted to do like a, you know, kind of a different take on Valentine's Day. Yeah, what? Wait, what? Why? Uh Yeah, 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 true, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I never thought of it that way. Yeah, see, um, our, when I, like, at my, at, at Offset, ours was a 15-minute a increment. So, you know, if you missed, like, three minutes, you would miss out on 15 minutes of pay. Hello? Oh, he went through the... Sorry, you guys, I'm just chatting for a couple minutes with my fiancé. Yep, he lost service. There's like this one little patch that he drives through and every single time he calls me, he loses service in this small little patch. That's so weird. <sighs> um, I don't know what to do on this hand, to be honest. I'm like at a loss. Like, I had this whole way of doing it, but now I don't even know. I feel like I need to, I just want to paint them. Yeah, I kind of just want to paint them black. Yeah, 
I think I'm just going to paint them black. So I'm just going to keep doing, um, I don't even know why I did that nude. I, I just want to like do clear and then I'm just going to paint them black and do like, um, some stickers and more of like things like that. Sorry, you guys, this one's not going to be too, uh, entertaining. Because it's like kind of harder to do these nails. I'm like focusing really hard. So, you know, like, uh, it's like this brush bends a certain way better. And I have to keep thinking of finding it. to like make sure that he said that um I guess something about like seven minutes even if he's like if he clocks out seven minutes early he still gets like his full hours or something like that because of the pay period or something like that but for like my job it was um, if I clocked out early, I would miss 15 minutes. Like, even if I clocked out two minutes early, I would miss out on 15 minutes of money because they did 15 minute increments. But I guess every job is different, you know, so you can't really. This, I should have did these on my right hand. I don't know why. I guess to challenge myself, I like kind of did it. Um, like I did it on purpose because I knew yeah I don't like this nail at all like the glitter so I'm gonna um I'm just gonna paint all the nails black because I really feel like the black will bring out like the point on them so yeah I need to get this like piece off. There we go. I have to start uh airing out this house since I know he's coming home. I mean, he doesn't really care. He says he doesn't. He's a controls engineer, so he has to be around chemicals like he works around chemicals all the time so I know it doesn't matter to him he doesn't care at all but it does to me like you know once I'm done doing nails I'm not going to want to smell this for the whole night I just want to make sure I get my cuticles He didn't call back because he didn't want to really bother me. That's what it was. <laughs> Which he knows he doesn't bother me. I like talking to him. I don't get to talk to him too much because of his job. Like while he's at work, I don't get to talk to him that much anymore. I used to talk to him all the time at his last job. He could work in, um, like just have me in his headphones. Okay, so I like this shape too. I hate when my brush feels sticky. I don't like that at all. Did anybody else see that Trisha stuff though? But like, why are y'all being bullies? Like, and she could say that she had a bad experience with you all you want. Like, if you, you charged her... 
more than double. So it would have only it's only fifteen hundred dollars to put a wig on. He charged her four thousand just because he knew that he could bu bully her. Like, how corny are you? Like, you're a cornball. I don't like people like that at all. I've never liked people like that. I didn't like them in high school. I used to stick up for people all the time. And I used to bully people that bullied other people. Like, stop playing. Don't do not do that. Because when it, came, when it really comes down to it, y'all really don't be about that life. See, I was a lot old. That's way too much of a ball. I only need like that much. But, um, yeah, I used to be, you know, a little feisty, feisty. Um, like I said, cancer really, uh, did a number on my confidence because, whew, I used to be a little feisty little thing. I always stuck up for people though. That's the thing. I was feisty, but I was never like a bully to, um, people that were different or, a nerd or you know things like uh, those i i don't like those like stupid um those stupid groups that people put people in from high school like i was not in one group i used to talk to so many different people like all the time i did not care about if you um you know, got a hundred in math class. That was actually a good thing. Like, I just feel like some people are just envious of others and they wish they could be that way, but they, you know, they don't have the, um, the confidence almost to like say no to friends and not want to go out and want to study and stuff like that. So they, they bully the people that can do that. You know, it takes a lot to say no to friends and say, no, I'm good. Like I have a, I have a test to study. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, that's hard. Most people fall, uh, fall down to peer pressure so easy because they don't, they don't want to lose a friend, you know, like friends will bully them. Like, oh, you're going to be a loser if you're not seen at this party. Oh, you sure you don't want to come? You know what I mean? Like things like that, like. And it takes a lot for people to say, no, I'm good. Like, I would rather get into a good college than have temporary friendships right now. Because, yeah, there's some people that, you know, oh, I have my best friend from high school still. But half the time, especially when you're living a lie and you're fronting to, to be a, uh, pretending to be a certain way, those friendships don't last. Unless they're fronting together and they were secretly, you know, like both a certain way but for the most part please all right so i did these nails a lot quicker yes they are a lot worse and obviously i didn't like you know decorate them but i honestly feel like you know doing all black or like one red nail or something like that will look better for this style so obviously i'm still gonna do like i have these little hearts and stuff that i want to um put on them i have like these little hearts and stuff like that so i will do a video of both of my hands after i'm done decorating and painting these these fingers so but yeah that was just a quick little video little chat while i um just laid some acrylic down on these weird tips i um this is what i do to like make sure that my brush is clean is I kind of just like spread it out, make sure there's like, I don't see any clumps. It's flowing really nicely. Um, I just kind of like soak it around, make sure nothing's in there. You know, I'll wipe it again, make sure. I know people say not to touch the monomer, but come on now. It's like so hard not to, just to clean my brush a little bit. Um, my teacher say, says not to do it. Now, if there was something in there, what I would do is just kind of use this to spread the bristles and see if anything is in there. Use this very lightly because these can be sharp. So you don't want to cut your, um, now if you have a dull one, I would rather use the dull one if anything, and then just push it out very lightly. 
And then I uh, just dunk it back in. Wipe as much out of it. And I kind of let it uh, soak up a little bit to keep the, uh, the bristles moisturized. And I shall sit this over here until it's ready to be um, put back in its container. But yeah, that's it. I decided not to really do anything crazy for this side. I'm just going to paint them black, do some little hearts. I'm going to go look to see what little um, stickers I have maybe, you know, something like that. I wasn't really feeling this glitter. I should have went and got solid colors to be honest. Um, but I have some black polish here and stuff like that, that I could just paint these nails. It really, these nails are like so cool. Just like the shape of them. They're super unique that I want that to kind of like be the show. I don't really want it to be like all crazy looking. So, uh, yeah, I just, I kind of want them just to be painted black. Maybe I'll put a couple little hearts and like things like that to make it more obviously Valentine Day ish, but not um not anything crazy as far as like glitters and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so that's it for today. That was just like kind of like a you know watch me do my thing, do my nails. Um, now monomer like this, this is what you do. Soak it up. You soak it up with leftover. Oh, I'm actually going to, um, file on this, but you soak it up and just let it and wipe out your jar. And now since I'm doing this at, out of my house, and even if you were in a salon, this is probably the best thing that you could do is that I wrap it up in a grocery bag by itself. And just to make sure that, you know, and sometimes I actually put it like right outside. Is there still something in this? Oh, okay. It's just glistening in the jar. But yeah, so that's how you do that. Wipe that out. Make sure that that's nice and uh, cleaned up. Okay. Because you do not want, um, actually I have other paper towels. I don't want to um, file on this. But uh, I'm going to file on this. Oh, now randomly, if you guys don't have a mat, this is something that my teacher gave me that we practice in class, right? You just can like print out circles and then practice and then put it in just one of these plastic sheets. And then you could just keep printing it out or just remake it after it gets a little nasty. Just uh make a different one or even if you wanted to um she had us cut out snowflakes and then we put the snowflake paper in here and then we made an acrylic snowflake so it's like you could do whatever you want you could um like draw little hands even if you wanted to draw little hands and then pretend to um practice acrylic and all that on them you could do it that way i wanted to show you guys that quick what is this oh these are not but um yeah so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed uh my last i look in isn't that cute like that little heart but i hope you guys enjoyed my videos um that i have posted i try to post every week so i hope you guys enjoyed them and um yeah i'm gonna file off camera because um these are super weird so it's gonna take me some time to like really do them and i don't want to bore you guys while y'all here and filing in the background and stuff like that i wish these were longer aren't they so short <laughs> they're so short but i will do a like a quick little video so that you guys can see these nails and then um my right hand so um, God bless. Thank you so much for watching me. I appreciate it. You know, I love all of my babes and I thank you so much. 
And I hope you enjoy all my videos. And yeah, please follow me on Instagram. And let me stop saying and so much. Y'all need to pray for me, okay? Because I need some help. But <laughs> um, I'm getting I'm getting delirious. I think it's like midnight. And I did not sleep well last night as usual. And I was running around. And I had a port flush. And that's like, you know, um, like in my chest. I don't know if y'all know what a port flush is, but it's like a little like tube that's, uh, or like a little pouch thing that's under my skin that, uh, it's like a little tube that goes up over my, sh like kind of up my shoulder and into my neck. It's connected into my a neck vein underneath, you know, obviously my skin and they could, uh, puncture it and, uh, you know, uh, flush it and, give me shots and do all that kind of stuff in the port flush uh in the, in my port but yeah so i kind of had a rough day i'm a little tired so i'm getting a little delirious but i'm out of here because i got a still foul and my fiance just walked in so i'm gonna be out of here god bless peace please follow me on instagram god bless bye